Hello, I'm Doug Marsano with King County's Wastewater Treatment Division. In this video, I will describe a common construction technique called secant pile walls. Secant piles are long concrete cylinders that interlock to create a watertight ring. The secant piles press tightly against each other to hold back groundwater. This allows crews to safely dig out the area inside the ring. The secant piles in this video were installed during King County's Murray Combined Sewer Overflow Control Facility project. More than 100 four-foot wide secant piles were used to build the outer wall of the facility's one million gallon underground storage tank. Crews start by installing a temporary wall called a guide wall. The guide wall provides a starting point for the location of each secant pile. Next, crews install a temporary steel casing to hold the secant pile. Soils are removed from inside the casing with a drill while the casing is lowered by a rotating drill head. The excavated soils are removed from the site for disposal. At the site, casings were installed 80 feet deep. After the casing is installed and the soil removed, concrete is pumped inside the casing to form a pile. The concrete is pumped in using a long pipe called a tremi pipe. The end of the tremi pipe stays submerged in the concrete while it is poured. This keeps the secant pile strong by keeping groundwater and soil from mixing with the concrete. Some piles are reinforced with steel I-beams or rebar for extra strength. Once the concrete is poured, a rotating head attached to a drill rig is used to remove the temporary casing. The casing is removed in sections to ensure the stability of the concrete secant pile. Construction crews can typically install one to two secant piles a day. Building secant pile walls requires the use of track-mounted drill rigs, concrete pumps, and dump trucks. Those living, working, or passing by the project area will notice increased activity and noise from the site while the secant pile wall is built. Here is an example. The secant piles at this site form a wall that measures almost 100 feet wide and serves as the outer wall of a 1 million gallon underground storage tank. The tank will keep sewage and polluted stormwater out of Puget Sound during storms. For more information on this project and other King County construction techniques, search King County WTD on YouTube or contact the King County Wastewater Treatment Division.